Hello, Lori Michelle, the Mashiach, with a message. Today, our legacy is a sick and dying world. What will we leave our children tomorrow? Most people won't even click on this because it's a very depressing title. And I lose people at hello. Hello, I'm the Mashiach, and that's what I am. And I'm sorry, I really am. I want you to have everything, and I want everything for my children. I want to leave them a legacy of love. Love and clean oceans and clean air. And I can't rest while I see what I see. The pandemic, coronavirus, is just one tiny problem. It doesn't feel so tiny to people who are still in lockdown, but in Israel, we're already moving on. Not so for people who have been hit financially, maybe lost their businesses. And I'm very sorry for people who have been hurt financially in this pandemic. <laughs> Hashem, the king of the universe said, don't be. And do you know why? Because unless you suffer pain, you won't listen to me. During this pandemic, I've gotten more views and every day my website now gets hits. Interesting, huh? Before this pandemic, I was screaming, standing on my head, waving this book, come on everybody, telling jokes, being serious, everything. I've tried everything and no one wants to listen to me. Now, some people are listening, but I've already noticed the views going down. He said a little, they're still up because people are suffering. They're suffering, they're burying their family members, they're losing money. Where's the Mashiach? Where's Jesus? Where's the Messiah? Where's God? There's no such thing as God, the atheists will tell you. And boy, are they wrong. Boy, are you wrong. But you're not listening, atheists. But people who believe in God, you need to listen to this. Because if you die today, God forbid, tomorrow, we're mortal. Let's face it. Your legacy is not a good one right now. None of us have a good legacy right now. And I include myself. Hashem doesn't include me in that. But I don't care. I don't care that I didn't start this whole mess, that the oceans are dying, the air is polluted, there's trash all over the Canaret, the Sea of Galilee. I jog in the morning with Hashem. I run on love. And there's trash and Coke bottles and aluminum cans, the blue, B-L-U, B-L-U? Yeah, the energy drink all over, all over the grass, in the water. It's disgusting. And you know what it is also? I'm embarrassed. I am so embarrassed. Did I do it? No, I didn't do it. But I watch my Jewish family and non-Jewish family. There are lots of non-Jews here in Israel, don't you know? They would like you to think there are no non-Jews or that it's an apartheid state. It's a lie. It's a lie. And they walk right past the trash and they look at the beautiful view of the sea and they hardly notice the trash everywhere. Some of you notice and you've given up. So I ask, what's our legacy going to be? What are we going to leave our children today? If we leave today, Parents, grandparents, our children and grandchildren are doomed. They will not be able to clean this mess up. And we have a war coming. The war Gog and Magog is a real war, a nuclear war. And it's, he just said, around the corner. I smile, I joke, but I cry <laughs> because he won't listen to me. There's no way out of this except for through this. We have to come together, learn what started all of this, coronavirus, cancer, 
all the problems you see everywhere, that you think you have nothing to do with it, that your legacy is just go to work, make some money, and leave a big fat bank account for your children. A lot of people believe that. Your name on a building, donating a million dollars to charity so that they all say, what a legacy. You know what that counts for? Nothing. Do you know why? He says, this is the last generation. I have a baby grandson. Hashem said, if we don't come together, it's over. But it's a paradox because he says, you're going to wake up. We're going to come together. And he shows me, all of you at events, very happy. But before you're very happy, he shows me you, whoever you are, crying. He keeps showing me rolls of toilet paper lately. Do you know what that means? I'll tell you what it means. When you figure out that I'm really Mashiach and that I've been telling you the truth for years and that this book, this gut-wrenching book that took me three years to write, revealing very painful stories, was all for you and it's the truth that we're dying. Truly, we're dying, people. The oceans, the air, coronavirus, a walk in the park compared to what we have to go through together. And when we finally come together, those rolls of toilet paper connote your stomachs flipping, getting very sick because you're participating in this. You don't believe you are. You believe that it's someone else's fault. Someone else started this problem. If you're an environmentalist, you're, I'm an environmentalist. I recycle. I know it's a problem. I, 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 You have to take your eye out of the equation. The only reason you should say I is I love you. I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to dedicate myself to cleaning up this world because my children matter more to me than life itself. When I leave here, I want to know that the air is cleaner, the water is cleaner, that my children have a chance at a beautiful long life. He said it's bigger than that. I'm not in it for bigger than that, but he said this is the end of days and we have a shot at eternal life with no illness, no war, no cancer, none of it. But I said before, it's a paradox. It's not going to happen unless you wake up, read what I have to show you, learn what's behind all of this, all the problems and the solutions. There's a plan and a vision for world peace through love, education, and charity. We're supposed to come together at running on love charity events, learn and heal and heal the world. It's not happening right now. By now, most people have clicked away and said, you're stupid, I'm waiting for some guy, but he's not coming. I am doing this for you. I am doing this for our children because I didn't create this mess, but I'm responsible for this mess, and so are you. So what's our legacy going to be tomorrow, today, it's a sick and dying world. Today, global warming, it's 111 degrees. It's hot here. <laughs> and it's not supposed to be this hot. Record-breaking heat. Why? Why is there trash all over the Canary? It's embarrassing. Why are people smoking? money. We have to look at our values, revisit them, 
and our relationship with the world and God. Reverse that. God's number one. God bless you. I hope you listen this far. I'm telling the truth. You need to peel your eyes open. It's going to hurt 12 boxing rounds with Mommy Messiah. I show you what's wrong. We're all participating in it. And this world is dying. He said it's going to change, but you have to change it. Please wake up. And may there be world peace and world redemption in our time. I want to leave a beautiful world for my children. He said, I'm not leaving. Oh boy. I'll believe it when I see it. Wake up, please. <laughs>